Hello everybody, I'm Michele De Maria, I'm an ophthalmologist and I work at the ophthalmology unit in Reggio Emilia Hospital in Italy and I would like to give you a brief overview of our last article. Measuring anterior chamber inflammation after cataract surgery, a review of the literature focusing on the correlation with cystoid macroedema. Even though the continuous improvements in techniques and equipments in modern cataract surgery Cystoid macular edema is an infrequent but potentially visually impairing complication that may occur after an eventful phacomulsification with IOL implantation. Surgical trauma causes the blood aqueous barrier disruption with the leakage of pro-inflammatory molecules and cells into the anterior chamber of the eye. Prostaglandins and other pro-inflammatory mediators diffuse into the vitreous cavity and increase the permeability of peripheral vessels with accumulation of fluids and cystic changes to the macula. Anterior chamber inflammation is routinely evaluated by grading cells and flare at the slit lamp according to the standardized UAR's nomenclature system which is qualitative and relies on subjective evaluation. Recently, new technologies have been developed to quantify anterior chamber inflammation objectively, such as laser flare and cell photometry, anterior segment optical coherence tomography, and the modern technique of aqueous sample analysis. Anterior chamber inflammation after an eventful phacoemulsification is extremely low and difficult to grade at the slit lamp. Moreover, only a few trials investigated the potential correlation between anterior chamber inflammation and the risk of cystoid macular edema after surgery. Our review aims to identify evidence of correlation between quantitative analysis of anterior chamber inflammation and the risk of pseudophagic cystoid macular edema development. Methods of analysis of anterior chamber inflammation and the frequency of macular changes were recorded. In the majority of studies, inflammation was assessed by clinical grading, followed by laser flare photometry and aqueous sample but only 16 studies investigated the incidence of macular changes with OCT or flourishing angiography. But in needles, a positive correlation between the amount of postoperative inflammation and the occurrence of cystoid macular edema was confirmed in seven studies, not documented in two studies and not examined in the other seven. Our review demonstrated that to better understand the relationship between anterior chamber inflammation and the risk of cystoid macular edema after a complicated phagomulsification, it is mandatory to adopt a quantitative method of analysis. For this goal, laser flare and cell photometry, more than the others, appear to be more sensitive and reproducible method of analysis. In conclusion, Inflammation assessment after cataract surgery is a critical point because it may help to titrate duration and intensity of therapy after surgery in order to lower the risk of cystoid macular edema development. For details, please do not hesitate to read the full text of our article and please contact us for any questions.